What if our binomial has radicals both before and after the symbol? We're going to multiply both top and bottom by root 6 plus root 2. Will it still work? Ten times root six is ten root six. Ten times root two is plus ten root two. Root six times root six gives us root of six times six. Root six times root two gives us plus root of six times two. Negative root two times root six gives us minus root of two times six. And negative root 2 times positive root 2 gives us negative of root 2 times 2. I'll write my 10 root 6 plus 10 root 2. Now, the square root of 6 times 6 is the square root of 36. The square root of 6 times 2 is the square root of 12. The square root of 2 times 6 is also the square root of 12, but this one's being subtracted. And the square root of 2 times 2 is the square root of 4, also being subtracted. The square root of 36 is 6. Root 12 minus root 12 cancels. Now we have minus the square root of 4, which is 2. Six minus two, of course, is four. And we are done, or almost. One last thing, we now have a cancelling opportunity. Ten, ten, and four have a common factor of two, so I'm going to cancel out a two. That turns both tens into a five, and it turns the four into a two. Our final answer is five root six plus five root two over two. Even when the binomial in the denominator has a radical both before and after the addition or subtraction symbol, it still works to rationalize it in this way. Now we have an example where the radical has a constant term before it. We want to make sure that that will work as well. I am multiplying both top and bottom of this expression by 2 root 7 minus 4. Root 5 times 2 root 7 is 2 root 35. Root 5 times negative 4 is minus 4 root 5. 3 times 2 root 7 is plus 6 root 7. And 3 times negative 4 is minus 12. 2 root 7 times 2 root 7 is 2 times 2, the square root of 7 times 7. 2 root 7 times negative 4 is minus 8 root 7. 4 times 2 root 7 is plus 8 root 7. And 4 times negative 4 is minus 16. The numerator cannot be simplified. No. Two times two is four. Seven times seven is 49, so we have four root 49. The minus eight root seven and the plus eight root seven cancel, and we have minus 16. The square root of 49 is seven, so I have four times seven minus 16. That gives us 28 minus 16 which is 12 and there's one thing left to do. The 2, the 4, the 6, the negative 12 and this 12 have a common factor of 2 so I can cancel out a 2. 
that leaves a one here, a two there, a three here, a six there, and a six down here. Our final answer will be root 35 minus 2 root 5 plus 3 root 7 minus 6 all over a denominator of 6. <laughs>